Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this video, we'll be checking out my walking table project. Now, this is based off of the strand based mechanism. If you're not familiar with that, I will include a link in the description um, to a video that talks about that a little further. Uh, this is also built around Bamboo's Cyberbrick hardware. So, um, but yeah, let's check it out a little closer here. So <laughs> there's the bottom. Um, it uses four zero thirty uh, DC motors, and this is kind of pushing the limit of what the cyber brake hardware can handle because there is a lot of friction within this mechanism that you have to sit there and be careful about um, as you're assembling it. And that's kind of the, it, it's a little bit of an intermediate level project because of that while printing it and assembling it isn't necessarily that difficult. You do have to make sure that you're getting as little friction as you possibly can as you assemble the legs. And aligning all of the legs too can be a bit tricky because you're inserting this shaft and so you have to sit there and rotate each leg to, to work. Um, but I did model the, uh, the motor mechanism here in a way that I could upgrade it later if we get better options for motors and stuff. So hopefully we can get some power upgrades to this. Um, yeah, so it is a pretty cool model. Um, I have the remote control here. This is designed after like an industrial styling, but it is pretty simple because you know, it's a simple table. It, <laughs> it uses tank controls. So, you know, left, right, push it forward, backwards, whatever. We'll check that out. Check that out in a second. On the table itself here. Uh oh, getting some exposure problems there. Sorry. Um, so you can see the cyber brick hardware in there. It's pretty simple. Uh, we'll flip that on. And we're using magnets here for the little access cover. Just like on the controller here, we got our little battery cover here with a little magnet there to help keep that in place. Um, and on our controller too, we got a little, uh, I don't know if you can quite see it, but there's a little LED there indicating power is on. So let's check this out. <laughs> So it is a cool project, it, like I mentioned, because there is a lot of mechanisms here. There's a lot of chance for like friction, which can, you know, be a lot on the motors. Um, I'm using one to 105 gear ratio in here, uh, which gives it a lot more torque, but it can still stall out depending on, you know, how you push it. Uh, and going back and or forwards and backwards isn't necessarily the problem. It's when you start turning, it puts a lot of extra forces on those legs. And I tried to design it in a way to kind of alleviate that a little by adding these little willy feet. Um, but it only helps so much because there are forces pushing, you know, left to right on it. So it works pretty decent on smooth surfaces like this. On carpet, it's not as straightforward or smooth, um, but with that one to 105 gear ratio in there, it, it's able to do it. It's just a little slower than you'd hope, I, I suppose. We'll have to admit. Um, so yeah, that's my walking table project. This is available now. I'll include a link in the description where you can go download it on Maker World and get printing. Uh, so <laughs> happy printing and thanks for taking the time to watch this video. See you guys next time. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this video we are feeding the cats because I am trying to record a video but they're being obnoxious. So I got three bulls here. I got a little paper towel to put the cans on. I got a kitty right here if you can see him. <laughs>